Jim, so I wanted to ask you, tell us a little about the company, a little bit of background and your capability to start. Got it. Adherent was formed in 2012 on the premise that the data signals available in market could be used in a machine learning environment to drive business outcomes for advertisers. Um, a lot of the advertising that predated Adherent uh, was based upon human assumptions and audience uh, stereotypes, if you will, um, about you know if, if you're a mom, you want to receive these ads. If you're uh, a, a sports enthusiast, you want to receive these ads. Um, we are connected to so many data signals in 2019 that allow us to, in a manner that is not invasive to any privacy sensitivities, to target and tailor advertising to users who are most likely to take certain business actions. What we do at Ad Therent that's special in my mind is that we focus on advertiser objectives at a business level. There's a lot of talk, and this is, this is a fine thing, clicks and views and those types of things, but what we believe we've done as a business to advance the industry and advance the discussion is we are focused on client business objectives. If you're an airline and you want to drive bookings, we will use our models and our machine learning capabilities to optimize towards bookings. If you are trying to drive visitors to your location, we will use our geo capabilities and partner. we have a lot of good partners that we work with to drive consumers into your location. Whatever your business goal is, if you have enough data, and there is a ton of data out there, the question is, there's too much data, what do you do with it? We take the data, we integrate them into our machine learning models and algorithms, and then we predictively score every impression that comes into our system, and we serve ads to the high predictive scores, and we ignore the low predictive scores, all the while optimizing the best price and having bidding strategies and all those types of things um, that are necessary in a programmatic advertising marketplace. So you're plugged into the sort of the, the trading desks or the buy side or the sell side. Tell us sort of how your predictive analytics are actually executed. Yeah, we are plugged into all of the ad exchanges. We have private inventory as well through some of the ad exchanges. Um, we have access to uh, a vast amount of publisher inventory and we execute our media uh, purchasing on a impression by impression basis in an RTB environment. The beauty of that is in when we started in 2012, we were the first mobile business to be engaged in impression specific media buys. Uh, prior to that, there were uh, bulk media buys that were kind of the, uh, the norm, but that was just the beginning. Buying on an impression by impression basis is, is again the beginning. The only way that that actually reaches its kind of potential as a vehicle for advertisers is if you know what to do with all of the data that you have and you can actually target the ads to the people that are gonna take the actions. I think there's an old saying to the effect of only 50% of advertising works. Um, the problem is you don't know which 50% works. We use machine learning and data science to identify the 50% that works, and then we only do that. There's no reason to do the other stuff. There's a lot of waste in digital advertising. So we, we use science. Uh, we bring discipline and accountability to what has at times been a, a bit of a black box uh, business and industry because we believe that the only way to maintain client relationships and grow uh, relationships over the longer term is, is not having a smooth and slick uh, uh, talking point. It is consistently and daily executing on campaign objectives for your clients as measured by their goals, not by clicks.